It is not easy to stand up for the truth. It is not easy to be true to yourself. It's not easy to be true to what you believe in. We often get very frightened when faced with the truth. We often get very frightened when we have to stand up for the truth and we hide behind falsehoods. We hide behind lies. As Jesus continues the eschatological discourse, he tells his disciples that if there is one quality that a disciple of Jesus must possess, it is the quality of fearlessness. If they are true, they can expect that persecution will come. If they are true, they can expect that people will be frightened of the truth. If they are true, they can expect that they will be jailed, they will be beaten up, they will be unjustly accused and all of this will happen only because they stand for the truth. With many of us, we get frightened when this happens. With many of us, we cave in and give in when this happens. And Jesus sets an example for us. In his own life, he dared to stand up for the truth that he proclaimed, for the truth that he believed in. However, the truth that he proclaimed and believed in was unacceptable to many in his time, very especially the religious leaders, very especially the politicians. And because it was unacceptable, they not only made fun of him, they not only mocked and taunted him, they finally crucified him. And even though he was given an opportunity to relent, even though he was given an opportunity to hide behind lies and falsehood, he refused to do so. Because for him, the truth and standing for the truth was more important than this temporary life. The truth and standing for the truth was more important than giving up and giving in. And in the same vein, he exhorts his disciples to also be fearless. He exhorts his disciples very clearly that it is likely that those whom they know will be against them because the truth is unpalatable for many. He exhorts them that members of their own family might turn against them, but he also exhorts them that he stands as an example of his own fearlessness. If someone were to witness your actions all of today, will they conclude that you are a disciple of Jesus? <laughs>